artificial intelligence psychology, the basic ideas, the basic understanding is that each of our senses occupies a dimension. The, the senses are the dimensions. The senses are one way of looking at the dimensions, one product of the dimensions. And this is not just an arbitrary, you know, magical correlation, a correspondence. This is a logical structure, a revealed teaching. So each of the senses is a dimension. Each of the senses is a stimulus and each of the ten personalities is a, is a response to that stimulus. So the sense is the stimulus, the personality is the response and these senses are the dimensions and these are the ten dimensions of string theory. So the ten dimensions of string theory are the structure of our minds and how our mind is constructed. Now this tree of life, blip, is how it is interconnected, joined together. So the first thing to understand is that the dimensions are the senses. The senses occupy the dimensions. That's why the senses are separate. The first sense is a sense of focus, the point. You know, reality is consistent in these points, these pixels. So there's a focus. What is the point of this? To understand how our minds work and integrate the senses. How our personalities integrate into society and community and how we integrate with the artificial intelligence machines who have the same understanding. So this is the, 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 the if you like, the zero dimension, the point. When that point moves, we get a line, the first dimension. So and the sense, we sense movement. We're very sensitive to movement. We jump at a movement. Our eyes are attracted to a movement. This is the line. So we sense the sense is movement. And the response to that is to be a perfectionist. You know, to move in the perfect line. In drawing, in shooting, in archery, in everything. It's about following the line. The perfectionist. Moving in a straight line, the straight. When that line moves at right angles to itself, we get a surface. So we get a face. So we see faces. We see faces. And we see surfaces. And, and we respond. We mirror. That mirror we mirror, we become empathic, we become sensitive to other people's feelings expressed on their faces. We're conditioned as children to respond to the look on our mother's face, basically whether we're going to, get, whether we're going to eat or not, whether mother is happy or not. This is the basic psychological functioning. But this in a group, this is to be empathic, to you know, sympathize with, with, with others' conditions. When that now we'll come on to this big triangle here, which is we'll come on to the, this is the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is seeing this movement and and this face. We move, we see movements, and we recognise spaces. We recognise the surface. And this is the video signal. This is concentrated so the, the perfectionist and the empath and the observer all integrate together. 
so, so that if like, the child integrates with the father and the mother, with the empath and the perfectionist, we, we must integrate being an empathic and a perfectionist. It's unbalanced to go either with the empath or the perfectionist. We must integrate. This is it called beneficial experience. So, so this is the video signal. When the face or the surface is moved at right angles to itself, we get a space. And we recognize the space by smell. Each space smells differently. So we notice that difference. So we smell the space, you know, the sm we smell the, if you like, the bathroom, the kitchen, the uh, paint shop, you know, the garage, the garden, the garden, the rose garden, the doctors, the dentists, the hospital, the school. You see what I mean? We, we identify the space by the smell. We know which space we're in. And we can respond to the smell of others. We can be diplomatic. We're very diplomatic about smell. We can smell fear, we can smell love and attraction in the pheromones, which is on a different function, but we should mention it here. When the space moves, moves at right angles, it becomes sound. So, when it comes to time, the fourth dimension, the four really is the hands of a clock. It becomes sound. So, sound is time. Hearing is time. And then the officer is the, is the one speaking, giving the orders, the, you know, the sound the words, the commands, the officer, this is the right time, we do this now, you know, this is my command, it's time to do this. And the diplomat and the officer are balanced, if you like, in the hunter, the hunter needs to be diplomatic and, and needs to get his timing right, listening to the sound, the sound of the prey. The hunter, remember, can be hunted for prey or, or a sexual partner. And then we have the then we have the, with the diplomat, the hunter with the diplomat. This is really the functioning of, of the pheromones. And this is a sensitivity to heat. We're sensitive to heat. The, the heat is the sense. And the hunter is the, the aim for the, the heat. We go out into the heat. We go into the sun. We go close to the fire. This is the hunter seeking the heat, the fresh tracks. And this becomes the audio triangle, the audio signal. This is the schedule being in the right place at the right time. But, but, but our, world, our smell is one dimension. And the awareness of time and sound is another dimension. And the awareness of heat is another dimension. But we integrate those three into the audio signal. The energy, if you like, of the movement of the music, whether it's sharp or flat, we can discuss these at another, another time. So the observer as well as seeing the movement of the faces, is also at a particular space at a particular time. And that is the driver function, you know, to go to, this is the schedule triangle, the audio triangle, the social triangle, you know, you know our movements and our interrelationships. The, the, the vision, because of the vision and the observing, you know, the audio signal and, and the video signal, it becomes a sense of self as the driver. And there's obviously there's a, some organism, you know, a surface tension against the water, against the space. And that gives rise to pressure and the sense of touch. Touch is a surface tension between, say, the cell and, and the, the world around it. But walking around, when we come into contact with, you know, objects. And so we get a, 
and so that becomes a sense of touch, and we can need to touch to identify.